Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Berend. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Suggestions as to how to pray or ask, believing you have already received. Scientific Thinking, Positive Thought. Suggestions for Practical Application. Try, through careful, positive, enthusiastic, though not strenuous, thought, to realize that the indescribable, invisible substance of life fills all space, that its nature is intelligent, plastic, subjective substance. Five o'clock in the morning is the best time to go into this sort of meditation. If you will retire early every night for one month, before falling asleep, impress firmly upon your subjective mind the affirmation, My Father is the ruler of all the world, and is expressing his directing power through me. You will find that the substance of life takes form in the moulds of your thoughts. Do not accept the above suggestion simply because it is given to you. Think it over carefully, until the impression is made upon your own subconscious mind understandingly. Rise every morning, as was suggested before, at five o'clock. Sit in a quiet room in a straight back chair, and think out the affirmation of the previous evening, and you will realize and be able to put into practice your princely power with the realization to some extent, at least, that your mind really is a center through which all the creative energy and power there is, is taking form. Scientific Prayer The Principle Underlying Scientific Prayer In prayer for a change in condition, physical, mental or financial, for yourself or another, bear in mind that the fundamental necessity for the answer to prayer is the understanding of the scientific statement. Ask, believing you have already received, and you shall receive. This is not as difficult as it appears on the surface once you realize that everything has its origin in the mind, and that which you seek outwardly, you already possess. No one can think a thought in the future. Your thought of a thing constitutes its origin. Therefore, the thought form of the thing is already yours as soon as you think it. Your steady recognition of this thought possession causes the thought to concentrate, to condense, to project itself and to assume physical form. To get rich through creation. The recognition or conception of new forces of wealth is the loftiest aspiration you can take into your heart, for it assumes and implies a furtherance of all noble aims. Items to be remembered about prayer for yourself or another. Remember that that which you call treatment or prayer is not, in any sense, hypnotism. It should never be your endeavour to take possession of the mind of another. Remember that it should never be your intention to make yourself believe that which you know to be untrue. You are simply thinking into God or first cause with the understanding that, if a thing is true at all, there is a way in which it is true throughout the universe. Remember that the power of thought works by absolutely scientific principles. These principles are expressed in the language of the statement, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This statement contains a world of wisdom, but man's steady recognition and careful application of the statement itself is required to bring it into practical use. Remember that the principles involved in being as we think in our heart are elucidated and revealed by the law, as you sow, you shall reap. Remember that your freedom to choose just what you will think, just what thought possession you will affirm and claim, constitutes God's gift to you. It shows how... First cause has endowed every man with the power and ability to bring into his personal environment whatever he chooses, cause and effect in reference to getting. If you plant an acorn, you get an oak. If you sow a grain of corn, you reap a stalk and many kernels of corn. You always get the manifestation of that which you consciously or unconsciously affirm and claim, habitually declare and expect, or in other words, as you sow. Therefore, sow the seeds of I am, I ought, I can, I will realize that because you are, you ought, that because you ought, you can, that because you can, you do. The manifestation of this truth, even in a small degree, gives you the indisputable understanding that dominion is your charter right. You are an heir of first cause, endowed with all the power he has. God has given you everything, all is yours, and you know that all you have to do is to reach out your mental hand and take it. This formula may serve as a pattern to shape your own prayer or affirmation into God for the benefit of another or yourself. 
If, for another, you speak the Christian name of the person you wish to help, then dismiss their personality entirely from your consciousness. Intensify your thought by meditating upon the fact that there is that in you which finds the way, which is the truth, and is the life. You are affirming this fact, believing that since you are thinking this, it is already yours. Having lifted up your feelings to the central idea of this meditation, you examine your own consciousness to see if there is aught which is unlike God. If there is any feeling of worry, fear, malice, envy, hatred or jealousy, turn back in your meditation to cleanse your thought through the affirmation that God's love and purity fill all space, including your heart and soul. Reconcile your thought with the love of God, always remembering that you are made in the image and likeness of love. Keep this cleansing thought in mind until you feel you have freed your consciousness entirely of all thoughts and feelings other than love and unity with all humanity. Then if denials do not disturb you, deny all that is unlike your desired manifestation. This accomplished, you almost overlay your denial with the affirmative thought that you are made in the image and likeness of God and that you already have your desire fulfilled in its first, its original spiritual or thought form. Closing of Prayer Prayer as a method of thought is a deliberate use of the law which gives you the power of dominion over everything which tends in any way to hamper your perfect liberty. You have been given life that you may enjoy it more and more fully. The steady recognition of this truth makes you declare yourself a prince of power. You recognize, accept and use this power as a child of a king and hence dominion is your birthright. Then when you feel the light of this great truth flooding your consciousness, open the floodgates of your soul in heartfelt praise that you have the understanding that the Creator and His creation are one. Also that the Creator is continually creating through His creation. Close your treatment in the happy assurance that the prayer which is fulfilled is not a form of supplication, but a steady habitual affirming that the Creator of all creation is operating specifically through you. Therefore, the work must be perfectly done. Your mind is a centre of divine operation. Hints for application and practice. For every five minutes given to reading and study of the theories of mental science, spend fifteen minutes in the use and application of the knowledge acquired. 1. Spend one minute in every twenty-four hours in conscientiously thinking over the specification that must be observed in order to have your prayers answered. 2. Practice the steady recognition of desirable thought possession for two periods of fifteen minutes each every day. Not only time yourself each period to see how long you can keep a given conception before your mental vision, but also keep a written record of the vividness with which you experience your mental image. Remember that your mental senses are just as varied and trainable as your physical ones. 3. Spend five minutes every day between twelve noon and one o'clock with a mental search for new sources of wealth. End of chapter 16